वेलकम बैक टू एम एल टी वर्ल्ड टूडे फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद ऑल ऑफ यू दैट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन एंड वी विल डिस्कस टाइप्स ऑफ इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन ऑल्सो एंड स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन दिस विल बी द मेन टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस विद स्टार्ट विद स्ट्रक्चर एंड देन टाइप्स एंड फंक्शन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एंटीबॉडीज एंड ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज गैमा ग्लोबलिन द नेचर ऑफ इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन इज प्रोटीन एज वी सी दैन सो द नेम इट्स गैमा ग्लोबलिन गैमा इज ऑल्सो एंड ग्लोबलिन सो ग्लोबलिन इज प्रोटीन टाइप ऑफ प्रोटीन एल्बुमिन ग्लोबलिन फाइबरिनोजन सो इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन आर गैमा ग्लोबलिन टाइप ऑफ प्रोटीन्स The next important point is that immunoglobulins or antibodies or gamma globulins are produced by the plasma cells, B cells, that is, white blood cells, type of white blood cell lymphocytes. So, from lymphocyte B cells, immunoglobulins are produced, and it is present. Immunoglobulins are present in the plasma part of the blood. now this was the just like name introduction or the nature of immunoglobulins now we will see the quick review also for the structure of immunoglobulins immunoglobulins are consist of two chains light chain and heavy chain in diagram you can see that blue color is light chain and red one and pink one is heavy chain and then in heavy chain there are three constant regions and one variable region and this variable region actually it will specify the type of immunoglobulin means each immunoglobulin have different variable region but constant regions are same only so antibodies are named on the base of variable region we can say that this is the point where antibodies will catch the antigen or we can say that they can trap the antigen in this area so the variable region <coughs> involved in catching the antigen and these heavy chain and light chain they are attached by disulfide bond that with uh, arrow also will show you <clears throat> sorry now we will start with the types of immunoglobulin and then each type function we will discuss there are five type of immunoglobulin immunoglobulin g a m e d so here is a short like um, quick formula all to remember the type of immunoglobulin if you remember the word gamed g a m e d it will indicate the each type of immunoglobulin so from this formula you can remember the types of immunoglobulin first of all we will discuss immunoglobulin g that is also called as igg igg is the single unit antibody and this is the most abundant antibody the found in our blood and the heavy chain present in antibody is gamma type <clears throat> we can say that the variable region of heavy uh, immunoglobulin g is gamma type almost 80% of total antibodies um, are immunoglobulin g igg antibody and as i told that this is the single unit antibody we can say that y shape monomer and the molecular weight of immunoglobulin g igg is 150000 g per mole and because of this weight it and because of its structure this is the one of the smallest size of immunoglobulin so it can easily cross blood vessels and placenta this is one of the most important in mcqs question also that which immunoglobulin can cross placenta then the answer will be igg and igg is mainly responsible for humoral immunity and the main mechanism of uh, action of this 
<clears throat> IgG is by the complement mediate destruction that is one of the um, one separate topic we will discuss in other video next is immunoglobulin A immunoglobulin A is comes as from the name indicate it contain heavy chain that is alpha and the, in this diagram as you can see that it is consist of two units we can say that two monomers and it can also consist as single unit also if it is double it will be called dimer and otherwise single and it consists of two antibodies which are joined by together by the J chain uh, polymers as you can see in the diagram also and the molecular weight of IgA is 160,000 it is as you can see it is bigger than IgG and it is mainly present in the body secretions like saliva, tears and sweats. Next point in immunoglobulin A is that IgA prevents the various types of antigen from entering in our body and through or and from entering the cells of human body. Next immunoglobulin is immunoglobulin M. Immunoglobulin M is the largest antibody found in our blood. IgG was the smallest and IgM is the largest and the heavy chain present in immunoglobulin M is mu type and as you can see from the diagram as I, and I told it is the largest immunoglobulin it consists of five shaped units which are joined together by J chains and the next point is molecular weight molecular weight of IgM is 9 lakh 900,000 kda and IgM is the largest size antibody so cannot cross a placenta or blood vessels next important point in IgM is that IgM is the first and most efficient type of antibody which is produced in any antigen or foreign body invasion or foreign attack next immunoglobulin is immunoglobulin E in the we will call as IgE also so the heavy chain present in IgE is epsilon and it is single unit monomer and IgE also consists of uh, same single unit by shaped monomer and molecular weight of IgE is 190,000 kda still it is bigger than IgE uh, sorry IgG IgE is present in very little amount in our blood but mostly in allergic reactions it the level of IgE is increased so if IgE is mainly increased in level in any person suffers from allergy this is also one important question that which immunoglobulin level increase in allergic reaction then the answer will be IgE and the mechanism of action of IgE is that it binds to the mast cells and cause the release of histamine histamine prevents us from allergic reactions and the last one immunoglobulin is IgD IgD also single unit monomer and uh, the heavy chain present in IgD is delta and IgD also consists of single Y-shaped monomer <clears throat> and the molecular weight of IgD is 180,000 kda still as you can see still it is mm, bigger than IgG and IgD is present in very low concentration in our body and no specific role in the body is still we can say that indicated but it is present on the surface of B cells 
so these all the antibodies i hope in this quick video you can understand the structure types and functions of immunoglobulins if you like this video please tell in comments also and what next topic you want that also tell in comments also and please share this video with your friends especially who are in studying and who are doing job also because when we are doing test and if we will know the result we can understand very well if we know that the test why indicate this test and if result is showing like for example allergic reactions we can recommend the patient check ige level so the topic is very important and helpful for everyone thank you so much